Ladies and gentlemen, Ebro in the morning. We have an Olympic champion with us, Laura Styles Rosenberg. Her name is Tori yeah, Bowie. Give it up for Tori. Just know. Tori, 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 Tori. 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 <laughs> I asked Tori if she just puts on all her medals and walks around the house naked, like, yeah. Do you? <laughs> That's what I would do. You never doing. done that? No. Not one time? <laughs> Come on, one time. I'm gonna do, do it, it for the grand. I think while I've been in New York, this is the most I've ever worn these medals. Really? Yes. Are you um are you embarrassed at all? Like, is it like you feel like you're showing off? Sometimes, yeah. Show <laughs> you off. have every right to show off. I show feel like off. I'm showing off and they're extremely heavy. So I don't know how you're handling it. Well, because right I'm very used to this. I don't know if you're Tori, turning I'm colors, used to bro. You're, <laughs> turning, you're turning blue. So I don't you're think enough <laughs> oxygen's getting to your so brain. You're trying to tell me not only am I too unathletic to ever win a medal myself, I'm too unathletic to even wear <laughs> someone <laughs> else's medals. <laughs> is what you're saying. Oh, that's a problem. Now, Tori, you're from Mississippi. Right. And how long have you been working towards this goal of eventually winning gold medals in the Olympics? Officially in 2014. That's when you start, but how long before that, like as a kid, did you start really taking athletics seriously? How old were you? In 2014. Are you serious? <laughs> you only got serious wait, 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 a couple wait, wait. of time years? Time, 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 time. We got to start at the beginning. <laughs> Tori, how old are you? I'm 26. I just 26 had a birthday. Yeah, August 26 27. years old. So Happy at, birthday. So at 24 years old, mm -hmm. what happened where you said, you know what? I want to go to the Olympics. Well, I think um, things started going in a different direction when I made my first world championship team. Okay. And, you know, I received my first contract, and, you know, um, you know, that was the way of paying my bills. So I just, I got serious about it. Mm -hmm. And you were fresh out of college. Right. And you ran, obviously ran in college, went to, on a scholarship, yes? Yes. And what school did you go to? I went to Southern Miss. Southern Miss. Mm -hmm. um, and you run which races, just for the audience, if they haven't ran their Googles, run through all the races that you, you run. So my my events are the 100 meter, 200 meter, and the long jump. But back in the day, you did you did triple jump as well, too, right? Well, I've done it. You've done it here no, and there. Yeah, I've done it. I mean, that's the thing. That's not her event. Right. But at the same, same time, thing. she did a triple jump for 42 feet or something. That's yeah. like that's outrageous. Incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> you know, that's not really what I do. But if I do do it, I jump 42 feet. And and so had you tried to make the Olympics when you were a college student or you didn't even... Had you tried, went to... You're jingling, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is that me? Some of my medals around my neck? My bad. <laughs> Tori, Tori, had you had you I gone can. after the Olympics before and just not qualified at nationals? Well, no, I missed the last Olympic trials. We got it. Um, due to an injury. I broke my jaw in 2012, though. I you broke your jaw? Yeah. How did you do that? Wrong place at the wrong time. Ooh. Really? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like you jumped and fell down or something. It was... <laughs> It was more like a freak accident. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so hold on. So going back, how good were you as a runner in high school? Like, you were, were you like the best your high school's ever seen? Were you like setting records in high school? I was pretty talented. But how did you fall in love with it? Okay, so how did you fall in love with it? Because you know when you're in high school, you try all these different sports. Like, I tried all of them. Track was definitely not me. Uh -huh. so which, which one was you? None, actually. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting here right now. None of them. Just like you. <laughs> just like you. Varsity baseball. Just enough. Yeah, right. No way. He did way. play varsity baseball. Do you think I'm lying, Laura? Yes. You no, he played varsity baseball. I played varsity baseball. I was terrible. I didn't get one hit, but I played varsity baseball. <laughs> he was on the team. I was on the team for four years. He lettered. Baseball. He lettered. I lettered. Did I lettered. you have a letterman jacket? No, I wish I did. It was a big mistake not getting a Letterman's jacket. Do you ever get a? Do you get a jacket? Oh yeah. You got one? Oh yeah. Yeah, she's lit. I just I had to do it. Pay for it. They gave you the letter. Honestly, Honestly the team. You get the letter. By the letter way, by the way, no by the way, by the way, Ebro, should I go find it and make one now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so Al Bundy. Yo, I'm making my varsity you jacket. Right letter now. Oh, yes. You just need the letter. letter. All they do is print up the jacket. Yeah. So I can just go back to my high school and be like, Yo, guys, where do you guys get the BCC Letterman jackets made? No, no, no. There's a website. You and can, you could just and I could just send them a letter. And you can buy a blank Letterman right now. We can make Letterman jackets for the show. If no, but I want mine to be official. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I write Bethesda Chevy Chase. Yes. Put my class on it. Class of 1997. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, Tori's kid. She's so, it, so it came. She never, she never seen nothing like you before. <laughs> she never seen a specimen like this. Speaking of specimens, um, can you focus for a second? What? You just asked the woman a question. Let her answer the question. Oh, sorry. I thought I, I think she was done. But I'm not sure. You done? That's all you had to say about coming up and 
Yeah, no, in high school. In high school, Laura was asking and... about finding your about finding that track was it for you. Like, how did you find that? Yeah. track was it for you? You fell in love with it. Well, I didn't find it. Uh, it was just more of my my basketball coach just making it mandatory for me to compete in track and field. Why? He just thought it would be good for you. I mean, like I went to it. Like my school was extremely small, and like my graduation class had four to four people. Wow. So, yeah. So we didn't act like we didn't have enough people to make both a basketball team and a track team. So she made it mandatory for the basketball team to do track and field as well. So I didn't really have a choice. So you didn't know until wow. then how, how fast you were? Do you know that you were that potentially that fast? No, not really. You just thought you were, you know, I like to run, whatever. I like sports. <laughs> and then you got out there and someone was like, oh, is that right. what happened? Right, and we didn't even, like, choose our events or anything. She basically just said, hey, Tori, you're in the long jump. So she basically just chose our events for us. And what's the longest you've ever jumped? I know it in meters. I know meters is 695. Okay. And, that's and I like think in feet, maybe 22. 22, 23 feet. 11, feet. Yeah. yeah, like almost 23 feet. Right. That's yeah. amazing. I, I guess. I mean, I can <laughs> we, can, we can all jump. I mean, I can jump a little bit. She could jump. We all jump, Everybody right? Jumps. Everybody jumps. Everybody jumps. Everybody jumps. You want to me? I don't jump. No, no, you jump can't like jump. Sorry. No, twenty-two feet. That's so insane. So I, it's it's really crazy. Your story. I don't think people are really wrapping their brain around it because it sounds happenstance, right? It sounds like I just kind of, I don't know. I just got here, like, and then I won. I won a gold, a silver, and a bronze. <laughs> and I don't know how. That's how it comes off. You realize that, right? Yes, you come. She comes off like the most modest person ever. I mean, Tori, you don't realize that. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it took a lot of you know dedication and hard work for you know, sure since 2014, for sure. But some people, their entire life. Yeah. <laughs> well, my story is a little different. <laughs> no, it's amazing. I, I look. I'm not. I'm not saying your sto your story is amazing. I don't think people understand that though. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think people have actually. I had, when I looked up information on you that didn't come across that way that it was just kind of like yeah you know I missed one Olympic trials freak accident had broken my jaw right all right whatever a few yeah. years later I mean I decided to train again mm -hmm. here I am boop boop <laughs> you plan on going back for more for sure okay so uh, now a runner unlike some other sports uh, you know like running and swimming you can have a longer run so like you're only 26 years old right. so there's no reason to think that you won't compete in, in at least one more and at you could potentially more. two more. So you, I think one more, that's, that's the limit. That, you, you don't think you would do another one? No. You think You think you're going to put it all into the next one? Oh, yes. So when does the work, does the work ever stop? Like, are you on a break right now? When do you need to pick back up really working? So right now, I am on break, and I officially start back in November. Okay. So, so you get a few months to chill out. Oh, yeah. And you can eat a little bit, like normally. And Now, do you have to have a strict diet when you're really in training mode? No? no, you have naturally you you naturally your metabolism is good and you can just work out. You don't have to over worry about like what you're eating, things like that. Well, I for sure. Um, I don't eat anything. I for sure, you know, try to watch what I eat. So you ain't out here Seven Eleven big gulps no, and having that pizza no, no, skittles no. and wake up and have gummy bears and all. You're not doing that. <laughs> don't no. get me wrong, now. I, I pretty much eat what I want to eat, but. I just try to stay away from fried foods and the sugars. But you are from Mississippi, so staying right. away from fried food is not a given. Like, that requires <laughs> no. a little bit of effort. Now. How many times a week do you eat Funyuns? Funyuns? <gasps> I haven't had any lately. Hot Cheetos. Oh, my God. That's one of my favorites. I know it. <laughs> How many times a week? How many times a week? Hot Cheetos. How did you know? Hot Cheetos. Come like, on. Come on. Hot, hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are delicious. That was like, like in high school, that was like a routine. Like I had to have a bag every day. So where you at now? Because as you get older, you can't have uh, hot Cheetos every right, day. Right, right. They don't really agree with me anymore. So. All right, so we chilled on hot oh, Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so good. what's the one thing? What's the one thing you have to have sneak in every now and then? The hot wings. Okay. Hot wings. For sure. Mm -hmm. when, well, how many times a week? At least once. I um. So I went to 4040 last night and actually ordered some. They got some good wings. They, yeah. they, they, I like <laughs> the wings. My manager suggested them, so. They got yeah. some good yeah. wings. Yeah. Got good <laughs> manager. Because I like those wings at 4040. They're delicious. They're on to something. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, wings is at least, if the wings aren't over fried, it's not the worst thing in the world you could have. I mean, for your treat, like right. wings isn't that that bad, right. honestly, unless you get like double fried crazy where, wings. Where you at on soda? How many? How many? Mm, no soda. No, no soda. soda. Okay, no so soda. this is good. No mm -hmm. soda. Ebro's trying to, by the way, what he's trying to subtly do is deliver a message to the viewers of you can't eat junk 
and be successful and, oh. and healthy. Because we we learn. Well, and then there's other things about Tori that I'm sure everybody look how beautiful she is, and look at her complexion, <laughs> and look at how hard she worked. There's other things that are in that message that it's like you really want to bear even this, more. If you want this, no, no. Well, was, her skin is glowing. You know what that means? Water. You drink a lot water. of water. Oh yeah. So how much water do you drink? I, I make sure I'm hydrated every single day. So how much water are we talking about? Because people need to know this on a, on a daily basis. How much water? Oh my god, I go through a ton of water. Mm. A gallon. At least. At least a gallon. At least. So how many times do you have to pee a day? But this is very important. Only, you can't <laughs> only just drink water when you're thinking about hydrating. You know, you have to throw some electrolytes in there as well because water flushes out all your nutrients. So you got to make sure you also now then she's mix spitting. in Now some... we get into some real talk. Mm -hmm. flush now you can't, you can't tell just which no. electrolytes you drink. Do you have a contract with an electrolyte company or no? Well, no, I don't have a contract, but that would be nice. So, <laughs> right. so what's your preference? So what's your preference? Um, you a Gatorade person? You a, you're a Gatorade person? The Gatorade person. Okay. and I think Pedialyte's work the best. Pedialyte, okay. yeah. really? Yeah. So, so that's some real, like, that's what doctor prescribes sometimes uh -huh. to get you right. That's a very important question. When you drink that much water a day, how many times do you have to go to the bathroom a day? Is it all day? Like it's not all day. Because women no. already go to the bathroom way too much. So is it literally like is it like almost once an hourly? Hourly, for sure. You got to pee right now. Well, I, I, <laughs> you can't even have a conversation. You, you just think about right peeing now. it the whole time. That's why she was so nervous when she started. She's like, "How am I going to make it through this interview without going to the bathroom again?" Right now. <laughs> who uh, who are you? Who are you closest with from the Olympic team? Um, like. Over like athletes, yeah, or, yeah. What athletes are you closest with? I mean, I guess Lashawn Merritt is my best friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how long you guys known each other? Mm, since 2013. Okay, yeah. like world championships and stuff. Yeah. Okay. How aggressive are other athletes towards your social? Like, do dudes jump in? Like, do Usain Bolt jumped in your DMs yet? No. <laughs> no, 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 not yet, not yet. And manager shaking her head would mean she has access to yeah, the DM. Like, no, no, she's in, no. she's on no, the no, DM. No. You on DM patrol? <laughs> you watching social media, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, the manager's like, up like, there. I want to know how was it in the Olympic Village? Because everybody says in the Olympic Village, it's like it gets crazy after everybody starts. You know, medals are won, the people get to party, and it gets nuts in there. Well, I, I missed that part of it. Um, oh, because second week, your second week. Uh, so you don't really, so the whole first week, you got to be focused, and then second week, you got to work all week. Right. So and I, then it's over. I basically missed all the fun. Oh, yeah, because the track runners, track their second events week. are still mm -hmm. going, so they got to <laughs> chill. And you guys are still working out while in Rio, right. still doing your thing, still staying focused. Right. I think I ran almost every single day. Um, well, I think I took maybe two days off, like, out of the entire competition. Mm. So, wow. No fun for me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, one of the exciting things for me having you come up here is because I could tell, you know, um, shout to all the runners out there around the world that are doing their thing, but I can tell the way they're talking about you now. They talk about you like you're the future of women's running in the country or one of our several runners that are going to be watched closely. Oh, she's next. Mm -hmm. I just saw an article that years. was so like, don't, a, she don't get out here getting a boyfriend, getting crazy and Don't try to keep her from having a boyfriend. No, 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 we, a boyfriend. Nah, she will worry about that you after have, 2020. Have, are you single now? I'm single. Yeah, no, after 2020, then we'll work with your manager to make sure your DMs is right. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, I'm going to be in this filtering process. Now, listen, I, I know you probably won't be shocked by this question, but I, I, I we have to ask. Okay. Um, you obviously represented the U.S. Uh, at the Olympics. It's been a lot of conversation we've been having every day about Colin Kaepernick and the reason he's decided to protest and uh, how important the cause is. I think we all agree with how important Colin's cause is. Um, how do you feel about seeing an athlete decide to kneel for the national anthem? And I'm sure you guys have went over this question before, but what are your uh, what are your thoughts and how would you handle something like that? You have to see an athlete kneel? Yeah, so um, Colin decided, you know, to kneel during the national anthem. Okay. Uh, what were your thoughts on it when you saw his uh, protest? I didn't really have thoughts about it. Um, I mean, I think to each his own. I mean, if that's what he chooses to do, then, you know, I'm with it. I respect it. Cool. 
Great answer. That's a very fair well answer. Well done. I succinct. mean, by the way, it's, it's manager just... succinct too. Less yeah. is more. Less, less is, is more. more. That's a good answer. We're doing media coaching here live. live. <laughs> less <laughs> is more. By Not... the way, by the time we see her when she comes back in four years, let me tell you one thing: she'll be very. You're going to have your share of interviews over the next four years. <laughs> so, um, as far as endorsements and things like that, are they start like? I mean, I'm sure the phone is ringing off the hook right now. So, I don't know. I don't want to speak specifically what you're working on, but are you happy with? the companies and the business that is coming your way? Yeah, I think we're getting a lot of opportunities right now. But I think the main focus right now is working on my Twitter pages and things like that, getting my followers up. And like building your own oh, followers. Yeah, All right, yeah. let's give it out right now. What, what, is, is, your, your what is your Twitter? At Tori Bowie. T-O-R-I-B-O-W-I-E. Exactly. And your Instagram? Have not been on it in months, so oh, let, we got to get that up. Instagram's <laughs> bigger than Twitter. Yeah, but right now. you got yeah, you have to post, Tori, in order for we people need, to you know, know, you know, know engage you know what I'm about to do. with you. What, so what, what, what is and your Instagram? And everyone in the world is constantly like sending tweets, like you need to make an Instagram page. Yes, yeah. they want to see what you're doing every day. Oh, wait, you're not even on it. Well, I'm on there. I just haven't posted my. Well, so forever. what's your what is your Instagram name? Friend Torres. Well, spell it. F R E N T O R I S H Bowie. Friend Torish. Yep. What is that? Well, that's my name. That's, that's your real name? name? That's my real name. Friend oh, Torish Bowie. Friend Torish Bowie is my Friend name. Friend Torish. Hold up, because mm-hmm. you know I'm about to do a let's take a moment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ebro, Ebro. But what? You, what do you, you, can, you wait till you after the Get off of there. What are you? But you want to look at her <laughs> no, page right now? get on there. We want people to get on there. <laughs> Hold up. But you know we're doing the middle of the interview, so why, why, what are you doing? I'm looking for a photo to post on my gram and get well, her why don't, we, why don't we take a picture right now, <laughs> no, no, no. and then you post it. Come on, man. So you're going to find a really hot picture of her, yeah. you're saying, <laughs> and then you're going to post it and <laughs> at her in it <laughs> so, and say, everyone go follow this. No, I'm just going to say, let's take a moment, friend Torish. And then you're going to at her, though, so she can get followers yes, yes, up. Yes. Is that right? I don't know what, what you have to doing. do. Anyways, um, yeah, you should do that, though, because IG, I think, is even more important than Twitter. Really? especially Yes, especially as an attractive woman. That is a great way. You don't have to be on there thotting for the gram. You could just be doing what you do, but people will still want to look at you. You know, I think it's just, I just have noticed that Instagram has grown, it grows more than Twitter does. Twitter's reached its max. People don't follow anymore like that. Yeah. Instagram. Instagram, your followers will grow. Twitter, it's kind of, I mean, it'll grow because your name is growing, but there, there aren't new people coming to Twitter. Yeah, people, people want to see what you're doing behind the scenes. You know, it's it's an up close and personal look on everything that you have going on. Mm-hmm. So they want. Yo, to Instagram see your should be paying us for this. I know, this, right? This video. Well, that's Facebook. It's, it's the campaign that we're very, doing. It's right very, it's very good. Well, Tori, thank you so much for coming by. This is very exciting. I know. I've enjoyed every moment. Thank really? You. Oh yeah, my thank god. You. <laughs> Hello. Are you done? Get off her page. Yeah, Ebro, you got to you know wrap up the interview or say hello, or say goodbye. Yo, or she could throw hands too. What do you mean? She's on here boxing. <laughs> bang, bang. All right, well, cool, because Paige, Paige Van Zandt from UFC is in the other room. So That's how wanna... you broke your jaw? You was in a fight? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. Was that your way of trying to get find out if she got into a fight? To... No, I just didn't. I didn't think about it until I saw her throwing hands on here like she was, you know, really boxing. So maybe somebody <laughs> caught caught hands and feet. Uh-oh, hold on. Let's check out this deadlift. Deadlift, here we go. Ebra, now you're just watching oh, random yeah. things. Ah, snatch, too. Okay, all right. <laughs> um. So uh, lastly, your grandmother means a lot to you, huh? Of course. She raised you? Always? Your whole life? Yeah. Um, probably since around the age of three. Mm. So, yeah, she rescued me from foster care, and um, I've been in her care ever since. What? How did, How was she in Rio? She did not attend Rio. She did not? No. Okay. How long? She, okay, go ahead. She told me that she sat at home with her, her T-shirt and her head, and she just oh. sat in front of the TV, uh. and she just, like, cheered me on, like, each race. So. And would you talk to her from there? Would, she, would, you, be, would you talk to her after races? Basically, you guys Facetime. No Facetime. She doesn't know Facetime. <laughs> she don't even. Thank you. <laughs> can we get Grandma. Can we get Grandma on it's Facetime? Grandma, yeah. grandma don't have a cell. <laughs> grandma has a cell phone, or you have to call the house. She phone? has a cell phone. Okay, but she don't. Have, she doesn't have an iPhone or anything. So, so there's no Facetime. No. Face. Text. What's her text? Is she texting? No text. No text. No text. She's old school. She's grandma. We only can call her. We haven't. We haven't taught her how to text yet. Okay. Unfortunately, all right, all right, all right. but I'm sure she's very proud of you. Oh yeah. So she came and got you. You were in a foster home, living on your own. You've been given up by your parents. And then your grandma was like, no, hell no. And she went and found you? Yes. So it started out with her just visiting. Like, she would come to the foster care and she would just visit. And then it got to the point to where, you know, I'm crying every single time she's leaving. And she just couldn't handle it anymore. So it got to the point to where she just got custody of me. Oh, and they said to you one day, like, you want to go live with your grandma? And you were like, like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm picturing right. three-year-old Tori. It makes me want to cry. 
And then, and then, uh, what was she like as like uh, as a parent? Basically, was she tough? Was Grandma a tough disciplinarian? Or was she sweet? Because grandmas are generally can be easier than parents. I mean, yeah, and but sometimes a grandma they can you, be. Yeah, they'll put you in your place real you. quick. She, yes, right. both. <laughs> she could be both. She could be both. Because yeah, grandma, grandma would put them hands on you. <laughs> <laughs> Old style, like it's nineteen twenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like they don't. Grandma, they don't do this anymore. We, I get a timeout, like the rest of the kids now. Like they don't do the beating thing no more. Uh, Tori Bowie is her name. Um, as you can see, silver. Bronze and of course gold. It's lit. Um, we will be seeing you again in 2020 and hopefully before that. Uh, you seem like an amazing person and you know, just congratulations to you and just many blessings, man. Just keep working. Don't get caught up. I know you're a small town girl, so it's easy to get, you know, kind of swayed by all of this noise. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed, if you will, but I don't stay focused. I don't think she's good. She's good. You are. Right. I don't know if Thank you know you. this, Ebro. Tori, she already Tori. made it. She made it to the top of the yeah, world. Yeah, but we need twenty. She's, no, 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 she's already. I know, but she's already accomplished more than we can even talk to her about. So, what she's saying with her eyes, though she didn't say it with her mouth, was such a bitch ass. <laughs> <up>. <laughs>